Hey gang, welcome to another episode of the show. Today we're going to go pick up the repaired aluminum head from the machine shop and we're going to set it on the engine for right now because we're not going to mount it because my brother asked me to go on an adventure with him today. We're going to go look at his own project card he wants to do with his son, a little father-son project. It's a 1970s car and surprise, surprise, it's the same color brown. I don't know what is with the 70s, all the cars were brown apparently. So we're going to get a kick out of that. So we're going to go on that adventure, but before we do, I'm going to set the engine, set the head on this engine, and see what this engine's going to look like when it's done, minus the headers, because they're still at the powder coater. So this is what it's basically going to look like when it's done. I think it looked pretty cool. So, let's uh, clean up and go on that adventure with my brother. Figures for less than four miles to this guy's barn where we're going to pull this car out of. 5.8. Oh, 5.8? 5.8. Well, good thing we told him he'd be there at 11.30. Uh, it's a nice river over there. Some train tracks. You can't see it. It'd be kind of cool if a train went by. Can't see up around the bend. That's a, that's a rocket. rocket. <laughs> yeah, that's why I wanted the engine. That's a rocket. Nice. E50 rocket. Well, I'm not hey, hey, look, I'll need a bolt. Huh? Right there. Yay, that's one. Oh, it's in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if we can't remember who in the hell took the alternator because it was on when he backed it in here. Oh, the belt's there too. Oh, cool. And it is the exact same color as my Trans Am. <laughs> He's got 79. 79 Trans Am. Oh, yeah. He has the brown. Heritage Brown. Heritage Brown, maybe. Yes, yeah, we've got there in the whole hair. Beautifulness. Solid. Is it? Oh, it's solid. How's that brake pedal look? I did put it in neutral. I was going to walk back forward. Try to push it by hand. Yeah. 
So this probably hasn't hit a hundred thousand yet. No, I don't know, whatever's on there. It says fifty-eight thousand, but I know this year they don't have a hundred thousand. Oh. But that brake pedal has hardly any wear on it. I don't know. Check the what's the sticker. How's the dashboard look up there? Is that a crack? No, it's just an inset. No, it's just an inset. It's all nice up there. Hmm. Yeah, the dash the dash says it's fifty-eight thousand. Little stickers. Eighty-six. Been sitting here since eighty-six. Belts. Well, the, the musty net, the, uh, that's the light. Well, I got a battery so I can turn lights on and stuff, so. I think it's in very good shape. Nice. Yeah, but that's the edges. What's the center look like? It should look the same. I can't get it, but I bet it looks the same. No see too many of them jacks anymore. Nope. Yeah, I should know how to operate that jack. I didn't want to tear it, that's why I didn't want to really pry up on it. Yeah. Starting to get something, but oh, that's just like I said, it's starting. Hit that with a wire brush before it gets any worse. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's in the glove box? Anything? Mm -hmm. Well, you can look. Probably the books in there, yeah. <laughs> ah, I found the source of the smell, though. What? In there? I think you might still be in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice. He's going to go for a ride. <laughs> Look at this headliner, though. It's amazing. Definitely yeah, going to. Johnny's, Johnny's grandfather was the one that owned it. His later years, he didn't even know driving. This is all the literature. Keep, keep the literature, Lou. Huh? Keep the literature out of the car for a while. The, no, no, that way the mouse that's in it doesn't eat it like it did my Trans Ams. <laughs> this will tell us all. You ready, Jeff? Yeah. That's all right. Two barrel. What? Two barrel. <laughs>
You got it. All right, start straighten it out. Straighten it out. A little bit more straight. Clear. Clear on this side. Here. Yeah, but I'm looking at it. Uh, seems just to be the outer. You might get away with a top piece of sheet metal on that. She looking okay underneath there. Twelve of seventy one. Oh yeah, 1271. Brand new for 72. Uh, two months old, but yeah. They have a tape around these uh, freaking stoppers. Yeah, definitely want to run a deodorizer in here. But it's a little rusty, but they're still clean. Why they would steal the lug nuts off of them? Two, nuts. Two lug nuts on every tire, huh? I don't even know what the hell is leaking. It's so brown leaking out. It's probably just dirt dripping out of it, you know, from, you know, like there's a mud dauber west. Yeah. One of those. Huh? It opened there, didn't it? What the hell? Yeah, it's just. Yeah, it's probably just dirt dripping out of it from sitting for eons. Oh, it's just inspection sticker. Yeah, last time she was on the road, 1986. Good? Good stuff, maybe? Maybe. Oh, she's got a little goober right here. Yeah, both sides. Yeah. What places? But that. You know, just a little... She definitely got no mud in her. Mm 
Pyramid still looks good. All right, let's get on the freeway now. So, Micah, what do you think of your project car? I don't know. It's a lot of work, huh? I think it's pretty amazing. Okay, so, in this condition, yeah. Not old. So, a lot of work. Get you focused on something. So, I hope you like it. Hope you enjoy doing restorations like I do. So, well, problem number one with the car was what? Cylinders are full of interfuse. So let me fully oh. This is your project. You have fun with it. We're going to say goodbye now. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and tell your friends.